College can be a financial challenge. That's why we sat down with a financial aid counselor to help us talk through these issues. In this video, we'll talk about the different types of financial aid and grants, how to apply for them, and how to get help at your university. Financial aid assistance here in the United States can consist of grants, loans, scholarships, and work study for students uh, to continue their education beyond high school. So if they're wanting to go to a community college or a four-year public or private institution, they're able to receive these types of uh, funds to help pay for those educational expenses. Grants are, uh, is basically free money that's given to students either from the federal government, state government, the institution itself, and it's money that basically they don't have to pay back to anybody to re, uh, after they receive it. So it's for them uh, to help pay for these educational expenses. Loans are a type of financial aid assistance basically that students and parents can borrow while the students attending school to help pay for the educational costs. Is students and parents must remember that they're borrowing the money, but then they have to pay it back after the student graduates or they stop attending school. And the interest rates can vary depending upon the fiscal year. Scholarships, uh, some colleges may base that on merit, and some colleges may base it more on financial need for the student. But it's something that students have to apply for in addition to the other types of financial aid assistance they may be receiving. Work study is another source of financial aid assistance. Students are able to work part time as part of a financial aid package and they work in various places on a college campus and they basically use those funds to help meet their educational costs. Financial aid assistance can be found basically uh, in the financial aid office on a college campus. Students should go to the college's website and search for the financial aid office and find the various resources they have available through their particular office. A lot of times on college campuses, uh, they would have links to the various departments or other places on campus. Students may be able to search out for additional assistance beyond what the financial aid office may be able to offer. The role of a financial aid counselor um, is uh, comes in multiple levels. Uh, the counselor can help a student and or their families help complete the application process. From there, once the counselor receives or the office receives the results of the application, the counselor can help assist the family that includes the student and their parents in determining what types of financial aid assistance may be able to be offered to the student to meet their educational costs. The majority of all colleges and universities here in the United States would use the free application for federal student aid. And it's commonly known as the FAFSA application. And that application basically will provide enough information to colleges and universities so they can help determine what types of funding sources they would be able to assist the student when they attend their school with their educational costs. Some colleges and universities may require an additional application beyond the FAFSA application. So it's very important for students and parents to contact those schools or visit their websites to see if they require more than the FAFSA application for their students in applying for their financial aid assistance at that particular school. It's very important that college students and their parents remember that the FAFSA application must be completed every academic year. In addition to doing the FAFSA application every year, it's very important to make sure that you're checking with the college or university to see if they have any type of priority deadline dates to complete the FAFSA for that particular academic year. The financial aid website will provide you with a lot of information pertaining to the application process, the types of financial aid assistance available, and how to make sure that your financial aid is going to be there when school begins. You can either visit the website and find a lot of information about financial aid, or you can come into the financial aid office and speak to a financial aid counselor in person uh, to put a face with your application. So come and visit our office. There are so many grants and financial aid packages out there. Visit a financial aid website, go and talk to a financial aid counselor, but do it sooner rather than later. Missing a deadline can have significant consequences.